Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Mary G Hair. Proper cringe. Um, don't worry, I'm not going to be doing that every week. Um, yeah, this is a whole new concept for me. I've never done vlogging, um, but I'm starting a new chapter in my life and I want to share it with you guys. I want to share it with people, be more transparent and if it can help people, then amazing. Um, so a bit about me, I've been employed um, at three different salons through my career. Um, 16 years I've been in the hairdressing industry and I've just gone self-employed. This is my new salon space at Polished in Salon in Nottingham. Um, check them out on Instagram, check me out on Instagram at maryg.hair. Um, there you can see all of my work, um, competitions that I've won, etc. Um, but yeah, reeling back in. Um, this vlog is gonna, I'm gonna talk to you about why I decided to go self-employed and why the time is right for now and the steps that it's taken me to get here. So yeah, I just want this to be a super casual chat, which is why I'm currently in my joggers, got my socks on, <laughs> but yeah, keeping it real with you guys. Um, so I've always really enjoyed actually being in a salon and being employed, you know, I never thought that I would want the stress of owning my own salon. Um, and I've liked working within a team. Um, I found that really important for growth and development. Um, but I'm at that stage now where I can still educate myself in the things that I want to. Um, sometimes when you're in a salon group, um, you can do particular courses, um, but things that I was wanting to sort of go through a new direction of, of hair, um, working with different textures, for example, um, it was harder to get that education for myself. So I was having to look externally and I thought, do you know what? I think for me, I need to be in a new space, a new environment um, where I can do the things that align with me. Um, so I've gone for a gender neutral pricing because to me, hair is hair, like m male, female, um, non-binary, um, gender fluid, like regardless of um, what your biology, <laughs> hair is hair. So whether it takes me half an hour, 45 minutes, three hours, like there needs to be a set price for the service that's being done. And so yeah, I've been, done a gender neutral pricing, which I think is um, something that needs to happen across the board. Um, and I want to know that everyone feels welcome coming here. Um, so I've done some reading, some YouTube, um, some online education. I want to do more in-person education, working with um, Afro textured hair, um, particularly, 3C, 4ABC, um, because in the salons that I have been in up until now, it's been predominantly white clientele, a mix of Asian, um, but a very little amount of Afro-Caribbean um, hair. So yeah, I've worked with um, Afro hair in competitions and been very successful with that. Um, and I just think it's something that needs to be um, reintroduced or, or be, begin to be introduced um, within the industry in general. Um, so yeah, that's something that I'm bringing to the space. Something else that I feel um, is going to help the whole experience um, for people coming in is that it's going to be a safe space. Um, so there's no judgment from my side, um, as long as you bring kindness in, then I will do what I can to make you guys feel comfortable. Um, and I have a gratitudes jar, 
gratitude jar, affirmations jar, along those kind of lines. It's like a positivity um, thing. So there's little, I'll grab it for you. Here we go. So there's little pieces of paper in here. If you need a little bit of a boost on a day. So this one says, do what makes your soul shine. And then there's also a pen and paper. So if you are feeling in a particularly good mood, feeling super positive, and you have an affirmation that you want to share with others, um, then you can make a little note of it and pop it in and make someone else's day. So that is a bit about why I decided to venture out on my own. Um, yeah, basically just wanting to go into a completely new direction um, and go with what aligns with me and my purpose. Um, yeah, that is basically it. Um, as for setting everything up, I was really lucky with this space um, because I come here to get my nails done anyway, so you know. Um, yeah, and I've been walking through this salon, they had it refurbished during lockdown and um, I could really just see myself being here. They'd only done the basics, they kind of painted it and got all the new dresses and stuff in, so it was beautiful but it still needed the finishing touches. Um, so I was able to put my stamp on it um, and I feel like that was really important. Um, so I've worked um, with Ashley in just making it feel like it's more my space and there is, um, we've got three dressers in total um, so there's room for someone else to come in and join me as well um, which would be nice in the future. Um, but yeah, so obviously I had to speak to him, I rent a chair here so speak to him about how much that's going to cost. Um, what my overheads are going to be, I had to speak to a well account manager, get up, set up with them. As you can see in the dresser, this is all my stock um, for retail. Um, I've obviously got stock in the back for colour, um, shampoos, treatments, etc. Um, getting all of that was quite a bulk buy. Um, but I know that I've got the most premium products and it's everything that I've worked with before. So I only trust Wella as a brand. They're like literally the best products. Um, so yeah, super chuffed to be working with them. Um, I had to get all my tools, um, brushes, um, retail products, um, and then you know, it's all the business side of things. So registering to go self-employed, setting up as a sole trader, sorting out insurance, speaking to an accountant, getting signed up with one of those. I wanna make sure that I'm doing everything by the book. Um, so it's super stress-free and I basically can just enjoy what I'm doing with my clients behind the chair. So yeah, that's a bit about me and why I set up Mary G Hair. Um, my first day is this Wednesday, so I'm super excited to have my first client in the salon. Um, I'm getting pretty booked up already, um, so if anyone does want to book in, um, I'm taking bookings via email, um, marygher111 at gmail.com. So just drop me an email if you have any questions or are in the Nottingham area or want to travel to Nottingham to come see me. Um, my Instagram again is at maryg.hair and for polished it's at polished salon underscore so come give us a follow check us out see what our work is like um, and do everything you can to get people seeing this video um, share like subscribe you know what to do I'm the one that's new to this <laughs> Um, and let me know in the comments videos that you want to see from me coming up. So whether you want to see me doing hair, if there's particular hair that you want to know more about, if there's products that you're keen to know, if you want um, treatment recommendations or styling recommendations, um, drop that in the comments and I can create some content for that. Um, but generally I, 
I kind of want to keep this more to vlogging. Um, so I'd quite like to just sh sort of show you week to week um, what I get up to and what the salon's all about. So let me know if you're cool with that. And um, yeah, I will see you all soon. Lots of love. Mwah, 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 mwah.